Look to this day, for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course, lie all the varieties and realities of existence. Millions of human beings are constantly on the move, and every moment, about 50 billion cells are working in each human body in a disciplined manner. But sometimes, for unknown reasons, some cells start growing faster. This malignant growth creates a serious problem which is called cancer by doctors, the most dreaded disease known to 20th century man. As soon as the disease is diagnosed, or even if it is just suspected, doctors, nurses, technicians and scientists in the laboratories, in the outpatients department, in the wards, in operation theatres, everybody springs to action as they put up a fierce fight to combat the evil effects of the indisciplined growth of cells in the human body. Detected early, cancer can be cured, but where it has taken deep root, there is virtually no cure. The battle with the disease is over. Nothing can now be done. But. The patient is very much alive. The patient may still have to suffer weeks, sometimes months of pain. Hospitals don't keep a lost case. The family often has no place or time or money to look after such patients. Where then is the patient to die under such miserable circumstances? Here is a home for such persons where they may breathe their last in an atmosphere of peace and calm. The very name embodies the objective. Shanti means peace. Avedana, without pain. To free patients from pain. To give them peace. Shanti Avedana Ashram in Bombay can care for around 50 patients at a time. In Goa, a few more are taken care of. Another such home is under construction in New Delhi. The objective is to provide ideal care for a few rather than substandard care for many.
A warm welcome is always assured by the nursing staff. Scrupulously clean and airy rooms and corridors create a cheerful atmosphere. Warmth and loving care go a long way in giving patients a feeling of comfort and security. we start this institution, the Shanti Avet Nashram. Well, I have been looking after cancer patients for more than 20 years as a surgeon, as a cancer surgeon. And very early in my career, I came to realize that despite all our efforts to control the disease, there will be a large number with whom we will never succeed in controlling the disease. We may control them for short periods or long periods. But like my friend Rocky now, he will come to the terminal stage of pain and suffering. At this stage, we can no longer cure the disease. We have lost the battle with the disease. But we can still look after the patient, a human being who has a body, mind, and a soul. And today, with this institution, I can say that although I cannot control the disease in every patient, I can look after every patient as long as I can to relieve his pain and suffering. Rocky here has been with us for some time. He is comfortable and he is cared for, not only for relief of his pain, but also his mind and his soul. You can see he is at peace with his doctor, with his sisters, and with his God. What we want to do in this institution is our logo is, shows a strong hand holding a weak hand to signify consolation, support and love in the hour of need and looked in the flame of love which is given by all the sisters under the roof of the ash. And our logo carries our motto, where there is love, there is no pain. For patients like this, not only medicine, but a lot of love is required in the last days. Genuine concern and cordial interpersonal relationships are a part of caring for the terminally ill. No insipid diet this, but wholesome, delicious meals for one and all.
This gentleman is receiving 25 milligrams of morphine every four hours. That is 150 milligrams of morphine per day. And with that, this is made now available in India. And we have also the liquid morphine, which is from abroad. And we have the long-acting morphine, which is called morphine sulfate tablets, which is given twice a day dosage, one in the morning, one in the evening. This gentleman is relieved of his pain with 150 milligrams of morphine per day. And you can see he is well, alive, and active, completely free of pain. Why do we deny our people this relief, complete relief of pain with less than an expense of 10 rupees a day? Each tablet of 10 milligram of morphine costs only around 30 paise and it is today the cheapest available painkiller in the market. I strongly feel that government should make this available to all major institutions in our country so that we can have patients like this terminally ill, completely free of pain. कितना बड़ा है देखो ये भगवान जा कर सुना है देखो कितना लंबा कितना चौड़ा दरिया है देखो कितने आते हैं कितने आते हैं समंदर के लिए बहुत लंबा लंबा आदमी आता ना हाँ बहुत लंबा लंबा आता है अच्छा लगता है बहुत अच्छा लगता है जाने के लिए इसका तो कितना टाइम लगता है लगता है बहुत लंबा लंबा � Hello. How are you feeling today? I am feeling very well. All right. Because in my life I have never seen an ashram of such a kind. It is not only an ashram, but it is a home within a home. Perhaps memories of happier times help fight despair and heartache.
pain is often a cementing factor. Friendships grow and give much needed solace. The body might well be battered, but the spirit is undaunted. Precious moments with the family and loved ones. The Ashram family celebrates Rita's birthday. Will she be around for another one? They pray for a long life for everyone. There is a combined effort towards the control of pain in the management of terminal cancer. Hoping always that someday there will be a cure. Photographs bring back a million memories. This institution, the Shanti Avedna Ashram, cares for those patients who are poor and destitute and of the lower middle class. Because all care is given here free of cost, irrespective of community caste or creed, to those patients who need it. For in suffering, pain and death, we believe there is no difference between community caste or creed. Dust claims dust and the patient withdraws. The inmates assemble in the prayer hall to bid their companion farewell. There is never a beginning, there is never an end to the inexplicable continuity of this web of God, but always circular power returning unto itself. Therein, it resembles his own spirit, whose beginning, whose ending, he can never find. So entire, so boundless. When her courage falters, Narmada sings. Her words may be different, but the feelings are just the same as a poet once expressed. I reason life is short and anguish absolute. There are many hurts, but what of that? I reason, we must die, 
the best vitality cannot excel decay. But what of that? I reason that in heaven, somehow, it will be even. Some new equation given, but what of that? Mrityurmah 